The liar is the junior brother of the thief. They protect and defend one another. You welcome viewers to this episode. Uh, I have to apologize for in the last video I stopped short of finishing the last section which was on the lawyer for circumstances beyond my control. Mm -hmm. I have to obey the U T S eh? or whoever it is. Mm -hmm. So let's continue from there. We'll finish, quickly finish it and then probably go to the next page as may be necessary. In fact, we should because this section is, the part is left in this section is rather uh, insufficient to make a video. Okay, let's go. Namshi, it will not be wise to negotiate with the landlady's sister for a new agreement unless the earlier consent ended on the expiry of the tenancy. Another paragraph. That was a paragraph. The landlady's sister has not got much of a say, has not got much of a say since the house does not belong to her. <clears throat> paragraph. Definitely, you cannot continue to live in the house without paying rent. That's straight away. Mm -hmm. Okay. What your mother should do is to approach the landlady personally and negotiate with her for a new agreement. On the other hand, the sister of the landlady can accompany you to see the landlady to resolve this once and for all. We go to the last story on that page, and uh, it's titled, Are We Out of Time? Did I read it? No, no. Okay, I don't think I read it. Are we out of time? And it's written by Baba Aburi. Baba Aburi, are we, out of t are we out of time? Our mother was involved in an accident five years ago and died instantly. The driver of the vehicle, the driver of the vehicle which knocked her down was arrested and prosecuted in court for careless driving and another charge of which I do not remember now. It has suddenly dawned on us that we did not pursue any insurance claims on her, on her behalf and will want to know if we can still pursue it. If we can still pursue it now or we are out of time. Are we too late? And that was Baba Aburi. Oh, Baba, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, okay. Uh, lawyer says, you are not too late. The time allowed for insurance claims to be made in respect of where only injuries were sustained is three years. But in respect of where death occurred, like, uh, like yours, it is six years. And yours is five years. Mm -hmm. Okay, paragraph. It's however important for you to know that the insurance will be prepared to deal with those who have been granted letters of administration to administer your mother's estate. And so before you approach the insurance, sorry, and, yeah, sorry, and, and so before you approach the insurance, comma, make sure that the letters of administration have been obtained. So that's all for that uh, page. Uh, page 12. We now go to page 13, which is a religious corner. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> oh, I think this is part of dating. Uh, let's go a bit to the right of the paper. Studies in the Bible, lesson one. Studies in the Bible, lesson one. Pardon me. Uh, God and his creation. That's underneath. God and his creation. I believe those who are well-guided 
we like to listen to them, both Christian, Christians and uh, Muslims alike. <laughs> Genesis 1 and 2. The Bible begins in the the, the Bible begins, comma, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1 1. Neither here nor anywhere in the Bible is there an attempt made to prove that God exists or that he created all things. This is assumed all, already to be an accepted thing. And should this be so strange since man is supposed to be an intelligent being with the knowledge that for each thing that exists, there had to be some higher power behind it? It's a question. That is God. God the Almighty. Hmm? Uh, next, after that, Genesis gives a full account of how things came into existence and the order in which they are created. We do not need to know how long it was. It was after the creation of the earth before animal life and human life uh, came into being to know that there was God. As, for, as far as that is concerned, there are many things that we do not have to know about, that we do not have to know about the creation, about the creation to be convinced that it was all the Lord's doing, doing. Full stop. But read Genesis 1 and 2 for the full story. This is the only true record that we have that tells what reality happened. That tells what real, what, sorry, what that tells what really happened. I'm sorry. It's not the paper's fault. It's my mouth's fault. Okay. Uh, but note that in all God's creations, he placed man above everything else. Man was to be over the fowls of the air, the fishes of the sea, and the beasts of the field. And so it has always been. There are many animals, etc., much larger, much larger than man, but all many be tamed. But all many be tamed and taught to obey him. I think it should be me. It should be me. But all may be tamed. I think so. But all may be tamed and taught to obey him. All fear man. Yes, all fear man. Even the lion whom we fear fears man. Even the snake. Yes, man. Hmm? Okay. Uh, there are many reasons why one should believe in God. In the first place, nature itself is testimony to the effect that there is God. Just look around. You see that God brought into existence and you see you see what God brought into existence and what is uh, perpetuated by the law of nature is what God set in order. Also, perhaps you will reason that since you cannot see God, with your naked eye, you do not believe he exists. You can see his work. Do you can see his work? Do uh, I cannot see your brain? I cannot see your brain, but I believe you have a brain by what you do. Yes, this is a very nice analogy. Mm -hmm good analogy. Let me repeat that. I cannot see your brain, but I believe you have a brain by what you do. When I took my watch, I cannot see its makeup, but I believe that it was, that it has won. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, as surely as things are, then it is sure that someone had to create them. Full stop. Because you can't see them doesn't mean they do not exist. God is the brain and the life behind the entire world's existence. Indeed. Indeed. Who is the writer? 
Okay, let's go. God is the brain and the life behind the entire world's existence. Yes. Look at the beautiful flowers, the heavens, the new baby. How can you doubt but believe in an eternal world power being? Question. David said, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handy work. Psalm 19.1. Indeed, it's in the Quran. Hmm? I think from Surah 71 going or thereabout, says everything on earth declares the praise of God. You see, so God's word doesn't change. It was in the book of Psalms. It was also in the Torah. It's also in the Bible. And finally, in the Quran, it is there in so many chapters. I think it's mm, 70 maybe the, the line, 69 going or 70 or 71 going. Mm. All of them, they begin every time on earth praises God, even the grass. Mm. Okay, let's see. Mm. David said, uh -huh. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Psalm 19.1 There is God. There is a God because the Bible teaches that he exists. The Bible is full of things of God. It tells us that he is a spirit. He is powerful. He is all-seeking, all-knowing, and he is from everlasting from everlasting to everlasting. He is from everlasting to everlasting. Mm -hmm. He is all, he is spirit. He is all powerful. And he is, Tell says that he is spirit. He is all powerful. And is all seeking. All knowing. Eh? All powerful. Who are Kadir? Powerful. And all knowing. Who are Alim? Is there? They are there in the Quran. So this is proof that uh, all of them were sent by God. The Psalms, the Old Testament, the Quran. Uh, is there in many places in the Quran that God is all powerful, all knowing, mm -hmm. omnipotent, uh, 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 all powerful. <laughs> I've forgotten, it. but omnipotent. Yes, uh, all powerful and uh, all knowing. Uh, uh, my head can be. Can misbehave. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, from everlasting to everlasting. Yes, no end, no beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, God is because God is God is because that is the only logical conclusion that we, that one can reach. To say truthfully that there is God. To say truthfully that there is God. So, what sentence is this? It ended with a full stop. In conclusion that one that one can preach. That's the only conclusion that one can reach. Then it begins a sentence. To say truthfully that there is a God. Not much sense. Mm -hmm. Not much sense, is there? Okay. Uh, for, it, for if I could say that, then I'd be saying there is a God dash myself. To say that there is no God is to say that an is to say that an impossible thing happened. Dash all came into existence without a creator. <laughs> yes, Darwin's theory. Mm -hmm. All came into existence without a creator. No big bang and whatnot. No sense in it. Mm -hmm. Alright. The that would be a sensible that would be a sensible as pointing to a house and saying that it was not built, but suddenly one day it just appeared. <laughs> it just happened. Uh, it's, there in the, it's in the writing. It just appeared. It just happened. Full stop. I love this writer. writer. How can one point to evolution as being the answer when all things have been the same for hundreds and thousands of years. 
Not long ago, a friend visited the Cairo Museum and saw a display of some mummified monkeys, dogs, etc. When they lived five thousand years, when they lived five thousand years ago, they were just monkeys. They were just monkeys and dogs, even as there are monkeys and dogs now. Yes, according to a theory expo exposed exposed by many monkeys. Should all belong, should all along be evolving into man, or there should be no such thing today as monkeys, since all should have already evolved to a higher plane. Indeed, indeed, what a sensible argument! If monkeys were evolving into men, then monkeys shouldn't be there. Simple, simple. I love this writer. Monkeys shouldn't be there. They would have all evolved into men. And I believe Professor, uh, Professor Najat, who says eh, the monkey may be a backward man, but man certainly is not an advanced monkey. The monkey may be a backward man, but man is not an advanced monkey. This is a quote here, or real quote here, if you like. And by Christian, Professor Najat is a Muslim. So you see the common things, the commonalities between uh, the scriptures, which we, we which we uh, seem to differ about, mm. or which we ignorantly differ about. Mm. Uh, then, monkeys, since all should have already evolved to a higher plane, yes. Then, what about human? It's a question. The writer is asking them, what about human? Has he reached the most perfected state or is he eventually to evolve to something greater and better? But this is foolishness. I'm not saying it. The writer is saying it. But this is foolishness. <laughs> sorry, sorry for being happy for reading it. <laughs> eh? Okay. Uh... Paragraph, or uh, yes, not paragraph, but a space, large space, mm, is the same as paragraph, anyway. Uh, as you can see, the wise thing is to accept the fact of the case and quit relying on theories. And quit relying on theories. David said that only a fool would say there is no God. Psalm 14.1. Yes, and you can see fools in the Quran to Sufa'a'u, Sufa'a'u, fools. Mm -hmm. So again, the Psalm and the Bible are common. Mm -hmm. They are common. The Psalm and the Bible are common. This is a proof. And also the New Test uh, the, uh, the Torah mm -hmm. or the Old Testament as we consider to be. Uh, the God of heaven is the same one that James speaks of as being the giver of all blessings. Into brackets, James 1, 17. John said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's John 3, uh, 16. Into brackets. Oh, does it make sense? Uh, okay, John is beginning a new sentence. It's the beginning of a new sentence. John said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, John 3, 16, and that's all. That's the, all, all, this, all, all, all the sentence. Then, so, so every way you turn, there is the Lord. Yes. Every way you turn, there is the Lord, his work, his blessing, and his mercy being, best, being bestowed upon men. Truly, he lives. Eh? Quran says, Hua, wasi'un. Wasi'un means he is everywhere. That this is wherever you are, he is. So again, a commonality between the Bible and the uh, 
uh, earlier scriptures. Okay. Uh, now we go to the quiz. No, readers are reminded to submit. Okay, uh, I think we've read it several times or a number of times if you like. Uh, the Bible quiz number 038. Oh, they are repeating the same questions. Hmm? Repeating the same questions. In whose days was a king? In whose days as a king was Jericho rebuilt? We've done it again. Who saved the men of Jabesh in, in Israel from having their eyes each trust out? Okay, let's do it for the sake of people who have not seen uh, the previous videos, mm -hmm. the previous episode. Mm -hmm. So this three, we've done one and two already. Who saved the men of Jabesh? Number two, who saved the, the men of Jabesh? in Israel from having their eyes each thrust out. So we go to three. Paul said that all the law was fulfilled in one word. What word? So my dear Christians, make efforts at home to see. Lie, relax, and try to answer these questions. Some people will say question. Question. Okay. Uh, number four. These four episodes into brackets, letters are said to be prison episodes. Prison episodes in inverted comment, commas, written while Paul was imprisoned. Five, the Jews were commanded to love strangers dwelling among them as themselves. Why? Who am I? I am the book in which the account of the white stone and in the stone a new name Written. Seven. In the building of this house, neither sound of hammer, nor axe, nor any other iron, nor, nor any other iron tool was heard. Eight. Regarding eight. Regarding honesty in trade, what did the law say? Nine. The root of all evil, according to Paul, characterized what? Number 10, of whom was it said he believed in the Lord and the Lord counted it to him as righteousness? Send your answers to the minister, Kojo Akwa. Okay, uh, that's so it's written by Kojo Akwa Beni, mm -hmm. a very revered Christian, revered Christian uh, preacher. Mm -hmm. P.O. Box 14561, Accra. Do remember to write your name and address in your answer sheets. Answers, always, sorry, always good Bible text to support your answers. There will be a draw for three winners who get all the answers correct, and they will win a copy of the Bible each. Winners of puzzle 186. The lucky winners for the week are Joseph Anani, one, Joseph Anani, Asikuma Presby School. Asikuma Presbyterian School, PO Box BR7, Brema, Asikuma, CR, Central Region. Mm -hmm. Then two, Alice Azuma Abna, uh, PO Box 298, Ashama, Tema. Three, Ben Siwonu, PO Box KA 9156, Airport, Accra. Answers will be released two weeks after the publication of the puzzle. Your answers with name and address must be posted to PMP puzzle dot, 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 PO box 14561 Accra and in a sealed envelope. Please note, PMP will only accept answers on original cuts from PMP newspaper. Eh? No shortcut. Answers by fax or photocopy will not be accepted. First three correct solutions drawn win a price of 30,000 cities each. Viewers, we shall stop here. Very likely there hasn't been any interruption. Uh, and then the next time we come back, we're going to notice board. 
not worth it. Notice but classified education. And then contacts. Mm -hmm. Notice but your announcements are not worth reading. And we're not going to waste time on this. Uh, and that was page 14. And page 15 is equally on sports, black stars, and whatnot. Some people may love sports, but I don't think they're very much interested in sports. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can't get views from my viewers to see whether I should do the sports or not, the sports section or not. So let's call this paper. Uh, let's consider the paper as the ending of, uh, let's consider this paper as having been ended. Mm -hmm. So we've ended this paper. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know the next copy. I think I have the next copy here. And that is uh, August 25th to 27th. And the next copy I have found is rather September, September 8 to 10, 2003. Mm -hmm. So God willing, when we come back next time, we will go into this paper and see what is there for us, the science there for us. Thank you very, very much, my viewers. May God be with you all. And I hope we will all benefit from these uh, preachings or whatever lesson there is in them. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Au revoir.